Jeremiah is so good. Jeremiah, my goodness. God knows what he's doing. I'm still in the book of Jeremiah and I'm just feasting. And it, there's so much good things here in Jeremiah. Um, I want you, first of all, this downloaded in my mind last night. Um, I went to bed. Well, I was going to make a late, late, late video. Because after I read this, I, it, like, Jesus just started putting downloads of these beautiful cypress trees in my mind. And I was like, oh my gosh. And he kept speaking like, you know, you, my children, are deep in me. These root, roots cannot be uplifted out of me. Um, and in real life, guys, cypress these cypress trees here I live in Louisiana so we see a lot of cypress trees a lot of cedar trees uh, that live in the swamps that live in the rivers that live in the um, the lakes and they are so strong these trees guys last for sometimes over 100 200 even into the uh, thousands of years and they grow and they you know they uh how you say that they flourish through this water they need this water to survive <laughs> thank you jesus they need this water to survive so we know that jesus is the living water the fountain of living waters it says in jeremiah actually uh, jeremiah chapter 17 blessed is the man that trusts in the lord and whose hope the lord is for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spread it out her roots by the river and shall not see when the heat cometh but her leaves shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit so everything every kind of fruit that we have we have because of Jesus and we yield because of Jesus we yield it we it it, it bears fruit in the spirit because we're in the spirit anything done in the flesh anything trying to do in your flesh is no good it's no good Jesus is, keeps taking to me that taking me here like your flesh is no good your flesh is no you know it's all about Jesus okay then it goes on to say Jeremiah chapter 17 uh, I'm gonna just going to read uh, verse 12. A glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. Do you guys know that, that, okay, I know this is in the book of Jeremiah, but the sanctuary liveth inside of us. He's even writing about this, guys. The, the, we, there's no more bulls and goats and all that. The sanctuary live inside of each believer then it goes down to say in verse 13 jesus is our fountain of living waters it says it it says the fountain of living waters is god so this tree is every child beautiful flourishing you know i just i'm in a place where I really, um, my videos are unorganized. I don't really care. I'm, it's the, the, the spirit is freely flowing guys. And it's just gorgeous. Now I'm going to show you this. It says, and this is the same tree. This is 30 minutes away from me. This tree is beautiful. These trees are gorgeous here. You know, we see them all the time, but I never really thought about it. This is uh, in Brobridge, Louisiana. It's called a lone bald cypress tree. Okay. And um, 
I'm going to show you a bald cypress tree can survive for centuries. Like, wow. Growing slowly, the bald cypress will get taller and taller for roughly 200 years, reaching heights of up, up to 150 feet. The trees usually live for 600 years, though some specimens are said to have survived for more than a thousand years. This is just... We are the tree in him and he is our living water and he is what makes us free. <laughs> he is we he is what flourishes us. You know? So anyway, I just want to share that really, really fast. I may come on later, I may not, I don't know, but I love you, each and every one of you, and um you guys have a blessed day.